Hello, my little sweeties. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. And if you're already subscribed, then welcome back to my channel. It's so good to see you. Mwah. I know I've been MIA for like three weeks. Clearly, I don't know how to do <laughs> this whole YouTube, YouTube thing. thing. If you guys are here because you found me because of Carter's videos. That is correct. You might know that I was just out in LA. Los Angeles. Visiting Carter and all of his friends. And you might think, is this video gonna be about that? And no, it's not. Because I am a garbage YouTuber. And the only things that I filmed while I was out in LA were this clip of <laughs> me eating some Takis. And then this clip of me with a snake. So, but if you want to see anything that happened that week, they all have a bunch of videos. There were some crazy things that we did. Oh, oh, oh. And you freaked out your app. Are you serious right now? Ah! So if you want to see anything that happened because I am trash and did not film anything, go look at all of their channels and watch their videos. But it was a really fun trip. I'm sorry I didn't film anything. I did film. <laughs> A couple TikToks if you want to go check them out. Um, my TikTok, I'll put it right here and you can go and check those out and you'll probably be disappointed. You're gonna be disappointed. So follow me anyways because sometimes maybe I'll post something funny and, and it'll be worth it. Okay, bye. <laughs>
motivational sayings on them. That's just not really my bag. But then I thought maybe if I get this mug, I'll stop being such a lazy piece of crap in my whole life. So I decided, hey, let's get it. So we got it. Put it in the basket. Let's go. Fingers crossed. Okay, so then I found this other section of candles that looked kind of earthy, and I thought maybe these will smell spa-like. Sniff, sniff, nothing. Sniff, sniff, nothing special. So we kept moving on to the mother aisle of candles. I kept smelling a bunch of candles. Really wasn't loving any. Then I got to this one, and it was icky. So then I kept smelling all these ones that had like positive affirmations as their names, like serenity and calmness, thinking that maybe they would hit home. This one smelled like no tear shampoo. Oh, and then I got embarrassed because I saw that person seeing me film. So I tried to cover the camera and then I just got flustered because I know that she knew what I was doing. This one, yucky, smelled like diapers. Then this one, meh, it was fine. Not terrible, not great. This one, why do I look like I'm drinking it? Not really sure. I was trying to figure out where it's, what it smelled like and then I realized it smelled exactly like Abercrombie cologne. This one, whatever, we put it back. Now this one, she smells it, she puts it back. Oh, she grabs it back down, goes back for a second sniff, maybe. puts it away. Okay, so this one was kind of like a paint can and I really could not figure out how to open it. And I wasn't sure if maybe there was like a special thing that you were supposed to use or like you had to bring it home and open it with a screwdriver like you would with a normal can of paint. So I'm really trying to open this thing. Finally, I get it and super disappointing. Definitely not worth all that effort. Yucky. So then at this point, I got really embarrassed because somebody was walking into the end of the aisle to the point where I started smelling this candle and then realized it was unscented. <laughs> so what I ended up doing was getting this specific candle from before. Yep, the one where she made this face to it. Apparently that meant I liked it and it was good, so we got it. Then I grabbed my apple cider and then I started looking for scones and at first I was a little disheartened because everything that looked like a scone ended up just being a turnover. But then at the last moment, somebody blessed me and said, here are some orange cranberry scones, which I think are exactly the kind of scone they have at the spa. Okay, then I went to CVS and I grabbed this face scrub and that was the end of our shopping errands. I'm in my mom's car. So I just got back, took off all of my makeup as you can see which is why i look like a little gremlin girl <laughs> before i do anything else should i do it like a tiktoker golf clap golf clap i'm gonna start putting on my royalty free spa playlist she couldn't have been that crazy so come on first things first whenever i'm at the spa they always give you a cup of water so there's my water in my Christmas cat cup. Beautiful, very spa-like. I have my spa playlist. Okay, so during this part, I tried to use that mini massager and let's just say I was disappointed. This just kind of feels like nothing. <laughs> like this kind of hurts when you like have it on like the back of your neck. I'm gonna say that uh, we did it, but we're done with that portion of the day <laughs> because honestly, it's just making my arm kind of tired. So let's move this party into the bathroom and I'll see you in there. I'm gonna start by clipping my hair back. I found these, this jar of butterfly clips. It's already looking stupid. All right, <laughs> cute, wow. She's so cute and trendy. What is she doing? I'm sorry. Who? And what? I don't think it's this. Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll let them in. Okay, yeah, sorry. Okay, bye. That was Chief. He just called to say, that ain't it, sis. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. I think it looks kind of not great now, but just give up. What I'm gonna do first is my eyebrows. On the ends, they just get really light and they just disappear into my face. So I'm gonna just ferment them. So when I apply this, I just, I probably should be more careful and precise, but we're just gonna slather this stuff on here. 
and hope that it doesn't dye skin. I don't really know if it dyes your skin. So you're supposed to leave this stuff on for like five minutes. So we're gonna let that set. First question, when is your birthday? My birthday is June 19th. I am a Gemini and I love it. So every year we would have this party called June Babies because there are so many of us that were born within a week span. I love Geminis. I surround myself with Geminis. I'm just a Gemini baby, you know? Next question. <laughs> What is your favorite food? One thing that I always am in the mood for is latkes. Oh, the one thing though, I know that a lot of people find oysters so gross, but I love them. That's like probably one of my top favorite foods. Oh my goodness, my eyebrows look crazy right now. They couldn't have been that crazy. My sister says, did you find my keys? No, I'm sorry, I love you, please forgive me. I promise I'll try to find them. Okay, bye. So a lot of people asked if I'm gonna be moving to LA, if I like LA more than New York, questions like that. I love New York, especially before I went out to LA, I could definitely see myself staying there. Oh, it's been, it's been too long. I just looked at the timer and it's at 12 minutes and 30 seconds. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh no, sweetie. What did she do? I didn't think it was gonna stain my skin. You live and you learn, you know? That's all I can say. As my mom would say, it's just hair. It's just eyebrows. It's just for men. Haha, <laughs> you get it? Like, like the eyebrow product that I use. Just for men. We're gonna say, good enough. Am I right, ladies? So the next thing that I'm gonna do is... Do not do this at home. Please. But the next thing that I'm gonna do is use this clothes steamer as a facial steamer. It's a questionable decision. That didn't work at all. Okay, so here's the thing. I got the clothes steamer to work, but I just can't put any of that footage in there because it was just the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. So we're gonna cut it out. Okay, bye. Okay. So I'm just gonna dampen my face and we're gonna keep on answering questions. So, oh, so I was also talking about New York and LA. Um, before ever going out to LA, I think I definitely would have said I was a New York girl, but pretty much the minute that I got in LA, I was sold and I would 100% move out there and hope to move out there eventually. This boy, Griffin Carr, <laughs> says, isn't this the end of our friendship? Because I haven't answered his text. We've been friends since like sophomore, junior year of high school. And then when we both went to college, we went to the same university, University of Connecticut. If you've watched the home videos that are on my channel, you will have seen him. He's the G in KTN plus G. And just for you guys, here's a montage of footage of me and Griff from a video that I never finished editing and never posted where we read hate comments. Okay, I love you and I'm sorry. Bye. Uh, Griffin and I were roommates in college. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah. the one yeah. <laughs> I like it this one. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs>your first kiss. My first kiss was when I was 13, I think. I was in eighth grade and there was this boy that I had dated for like a month and I was like, this is love. I love you. I'm always gonna love you. Till the end of my days and beyond. And then we were in a play together. We were doing Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory and we were backstage and he had told me that he wanted to be my first kiss and we had talked about it and I didn't know when it was gonna be but I knew that he was planning on kissing me at school. As a grown up, that just sounds so terrible to be like, I'm gonna plan out when I'm gonna kiss you. It's gonna be at school. Guys, me and my talkies are just stopping in to say, oh my God goodness to that monster that is talking to you right now sweetie uh, look at you, buddy. and so i remember bringing like mouthwash and gum with me to school every single day 
that week so that I would always be prepared. Oh my God. And then we were at rehearsal. We were both on stage and the curtains closed because we were setting up for a different scene and he kissed me. Okay, so basically the short and skinny of the rest of the story is that we had broken up and he told me that he wanted to be my first kiss anyways. So then after we kissed, I thought that that meant that we were going to get back together. But then he ignored me for like two weeks because he told me that kissing me really confused him because he was also in love with my best friend. Uh, and the kiss made him want to get back together, but he really just wanted to stay true to her, even though she didn't want to be with him, but... And that's that story. It made me really sad at the time, but you live and learn. So thank you, Tommy, wherever you are. I'm a soothing gel mask. It's kind of burning. It's for dryness and aging skin. Okay, so we're just gonna put this all over, apparently. Okay, let's read some more questions. How do you define beauty? I think that beauty is whatever makes you feel good in your skin. I don't think that beauty has one look or way to describe it. Like I feel most beautiful when I'm wearing a double XL crew neck sweatshirt and a turtleneck and some like joggers or a big t-shirt. Like that's when I feel my most beautiful and the most myself. I never feel in my skin when I'm wearing like tight clothes. Other people might not think that that's when I look the most beautiful, but to me it is. And I think that you should be the only person that's defining how you feel beautiful. And that's on period. As president, what one law would you make or change? Guys, we talked about this. No fedoras. What is your greatest fear? I have a huge fear of needles. I do this thing where whenever I don't like something, I try really hard to get over not liking it, um, whether it's food or fears or something. I just don't like having things that hold me back in life. So I try to face things as much as I can. I think that that's a good way to live your life. I try to be as calm and okay with needles as I can be. <laughs> IVs, I still can't get past. I get really cold and I get really shaky and shivery and I just start crying. I can't talk myself out of it. It's like I can feel it. I know that it's in there. Even when it's just a catheter, I just, I can't do. So I think I'm going to combine these next couple things that I'm doing. So let's start making our own jacuzzi. Okay. So this. So while my jacuzzi is filling up, I'm going to start making my stuff for the tea time. So I'll normally just put a couple of these into the apple cider while it boils. And I'm gonna put that here next to my scone. Okay, so now this angle is so nice. I'm gonna start adding stuff to this jacuzzi. It's so hot, it's just like a jacuzzi. <laughs> so this is Epsom salts. I've never used them before, but we're gonna use them today. So we're just gonna pour a bunch in. That looks about two cups. Two shots of vodka. Sure. I have a feeling that this is just like they look very similar. So I'm just gonna use this one that I didn't pay for. It's probably not a good idea to open it with my teeth. All right, guys, the moment. Oh my gosh. Bloop. Wow, nothing's happening. <laughs> Let's do the rainbow one. I'm also gonna add a little bit of these essential oils. It's not open yet. So now we're gonna add in this one, which I'm hoping will give more of a reaction. That's pretty cute. So now that I'm in my jacuzzi, I've got my music still playing. We're gonna have some of this apple cider, which seems super hot, so I'm a little nervous, but let's get after it, you know? 
I feel motivated. I'm just gonna take some of this. It's not open. What did your past relationships teach you? I think every relationship is a chance to learn something. Mostly my past relationships taught me, like they did teach me my own shortcomings and the things that I do that can be hurtful to other people and like have taught me to recognize when I'm doing something, especially like self-sabotage because I'm a big self-sabotager in relationships. I tend to laugh when I'm nervous. You know what I mean? <laughs> I would appreciate I'm that. Sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just terrified. And they also just taught me how you have the choice to rise above anything and that you can choose for kindness and empathy and compassion to outweigh any hurt or anger in most circumstances. Like, let's keep it within reason. And also not to say that I'm perfect in any of this, but just it's something that I've seen as possible and something that I strive toward. This kind of tastes like lip smackers. This is the, the lip scrub and this is by Kismet Buff. And then they've also taught me how much I value honesty. The biggest thing that my relationships have shown me is that there's always good and there's always better coming next. Um, and you might not know from where or from who or from what, um, but there are always bigger and better things waiting for you after one door closes. And I genuinely think that that is going to be true of all the relationships in my life. And I just hope that they continue to keep going in that direction and bringing more good and happiness. Do you have a sister or a brother? I have three sisters and three brothers. We have a very big family. This one girl, Jessica DeStefano said, did you purposely match nails to phone case? Swaggy. Yes, let's get after it. Let's get this bread, Jess. Okay, and then this one says, what are your opinions on stove? In parentheses, my favorite. I love stove. I was definitely the most nervous to meet stove out of all of Carter's friends just because he was the one who picked me. So I wanted him to like me and I didn't want him to feel like he picked incorrectly when we were in New York. So he was definitely the one that I was the most nervous about getting to know more. But when we did the spicy ramen challenge on his channel, him and Ryan asked me a bunch of questions, um, mostly pertaining to Carter. So if you want answers to Carter questions, go there. We were filming that video. We drove to K-Town together because we had to go to H Mart to get the spicy ramen and we were talking. I guess I'll keep doing more stuff. Especially during that conversation, I just really showed me a lot of respect for him um, and shared values. And we also went to a crew boxing class <laughs> and it was a lot of fun, but I was really, really bad at staying on rhythm. I just can't do it. I just get in my own head too much and then I fall off it. And stove was behind me so he could see everything that I was doing, AKA everything that I was messing up when I was trying to do the crew boxing and he didn't judge me. Um, well maybe just a little bit. And so all in all, he's also my favorite. All right, this person named Sam Gonski says, uh, What's your favorite brand of socks to wear? And this is a very particular question that I have a very strong opinion about. Picture a dad who's wearing like some New Balances and he's from the 90s. And I always only get the white ones with the gray toe and heel from Hanes at that height. And it's the only kind of socks that I like wearing. And that's a very strong opinion that I have that those are the best socks. You heard it here first. When are you going to LA again? Um, I'm not really sure right now. I think I'm going to be going back out there in March. I feel like I just kind of look like uh, Hannibal Lecter from Science of the Lambs when he has like the mask. I won't waste your time or Catherine's time bargaining for petty privileges. Okay, now that I'm watching it, it doesn't... Uh really look like Hannibal Lecter's mask but something about it was just giving me some Hannibal Lecter vibes so I don't know so that's something and then somebody asked me what my favorite color is oh it's pink and purple if you couldn't tell for a while I used to tell people that I liked green I do like green, but pink and purple, as cliche as it might be, are just, they're so cute. I just think that they're so complimentary and so sweet and girly. I'm not like a very girly girl. I'm very much more of a tomboy, I feel like a lot of the time, but I just love pink. I just think it's so soft and cute. 
Okay, so now that I'm done with my jacuzzi, there's really only one thing left for me to do. At the spa that I normally go to, they have this room that's called a relaxation room and people just take naps in there. So now I'm gonna go take a nap and you guys can come along with me. I've got all the candles and everything set up for this room to be very zen. I've got my blackout shades down and we're gonna take a nap. And that's pretty much the end of the video. Make sure to turn on my no post notifications so that you get notified whenever I post because right now I don't have a consistent schedule set so you'll never know unless you get those notifications. Make sure to stay active on all my socials. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe down below so that I know that you're one of my little sweeties. Comment on all my posts telling me that you've subscribed and that you're officially one of my little sweeties. And to thank you for being extra sweet, maybe you'll get a shout out in the next video. This video's shout out goes to It's Demi. Thank you for being extra sweet and liking all my posts on Instagram and commenting on all of them. <laughs>videos that you want to see or tiktoks or questions that i didn't answer in this video if you followed me on instagram you could have asked me them when i made the story so if that's not reason to follow me then i don't know what is all right now i'm gonna take a nap good night are you watching me while i sleep go get out of here i told you i'm trying to take a nap Thank mm -hmm. you.